Unless you're living in the EU, removing Microsoft Edge on your PC is a near impossible task without downloading third party tools and hacking into system files. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and today we're going to get rid of Microsoft Edge from your PC. Now if you're in the EU, uh, lucky for you, uninstalling Microsoft Edge is very easy. It's just right click on the Windows button, head over to installed apps, uh, wait for the installed apps list to load. So you give it some time right there, search for Microsoft Edge. and then click uninstall right here. As you can see, I don't have the uninstall option enabled because I'm not living in the European Union and I don't have the same data protection measures as they apply to the EU. So we are going to have to use something called Vice tool, which is an open source application on GitHub in order to be able to uninstall the tool. Uh, as you can see, I will uh, leave the link to the tool in the description below. But essentially what you have to do is, uh, it also comes in ARM by the way. So that's a good thing. What we're going to do is we're going to download the zip file, which is supported for Intel and AMD CPUs, save it on our system. And uh, we are going to extract it right here. So just click extract all, extract. All right, so as you can see, we've extracted Vive tool now and we have all the files. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to right click our Windows icon and head over to Terminal Admin. This will ask for permissions, so just give it that. And here we go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to navigate to the folder where we have installed a uh, Vive tool. So the easiest way to do it is just click on this top bar above, click Control C, come back to your panel, type in CD and then enter the path. Press enter and you're in there. So now we're going to enter our first tool, which is actually enabling the Vive tool. So this goes uh, dot slash Vive tool slash and then I'm going to enable and then I'm going to enter the ID, which is 443 53396 press enter and as you can see we have now successfully uh, enabled the wise uh, tool and so the feature configuration set essentially for the wipe tool now from this point onwards you're going to have to restart your pc for these changes to take effect so come back here once you're done restarting your pc all right, now that your PC is restarted and Vive tool is working as expected, we are going to go to our file explorer and dig for some files. So uh, let's head over to Windows. Uh, in here, we're going to go to uh, C, uh, so the C drive where Windows is installed, then Windows, and then System32, which should be right here. Now we have to find a file called uh, Integrity Integrated Services Region which is too long a name to speak on video. So I'll just find the file for you. Yep, right here. So this is called integrity, uh, integrated services region policy set dot JSON. Right click this and then uh, click on properties. Head over to the security tab and then click advanced. Now, uh, as you see, the owner says trusted installer. We are going to change that. So now I'm just going to type in administrators so that any system admin on the PC can modify the file. Uh, you can just click check name to make sure that you're entering the right thing. Once you're done with that, just click OK and you're uh, pretty much good to go. So I'm just going to click OK and then OK again to dismiss this. Uh, one quick thing that I forgot to mention in here was that uh, click was that if you click on properties, uh, go to security, go back to advanced. Uh, one more thing that we have to do here is that we have to select the administrators group and we have to click on change permissions. Go to edit access and make sure that the administrators group has full control. So we're going to click OK. Click apply. 
I will tell you that this will these are permission changes and again reduce the security of the computer and so on and so forth. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. Click OK and then click OK to dismiss the window. Now next up we need to make some registry changes. So press Windows key plus R and in here type in regedit to open the registry editor. In here we have to go to this link that I'm going to put on the screen and I'm also going to add this uh, in the description so you can follow through with that. Now uh, in front of the name you will see a small value in my case it is in uh, generally speaking this will be the value for uh, your region essentially. Alright so let me put this aside and now let me open notepad but as administrator. So search for notepad and uh, then click this small arrow here and then click on run as administrator. So this will launch uh, an admin notepad. And now we're going to open the JSON file that we just changed the permissions for. So head over to open. And now we're just going to navigate to the same file. So make sure that you change this text document window to all files. And now let me just search for integrated services region policy set. So click OK. And now as you can see, the file is open. So uh, as you see, there are these schemas and comments in this file. So user can disable web search, narrative scripting extensions are available, enabled and so on and so forth. We are going to have to find edge in this. So uh, it's right here. Let's click Control F to find this. So as you can see, edge is uninstallable. We are going to uninstall it. So uh, we're going to default state. We're going to change this from disabled to enabled. And uh, as you can now see in enabled, there is a list of certain regions where this feature is enabled. So most of these regions are uh, in the European Union and which is why they're included here. So what we are going to do is that we're just going to add uh, another region, which is our region that we checked in the policy edit uh, in the registry editor. So as you can see, name uh, is IN and that is exactly what I have included in this file. All right, so now our file modifications are done and taken care of. So we can set control S and uh, get rid of this file. We can get rid of the registry editor. The next step is to now open up Microsoft Edge and make a small change. So we are going to click on these three dots right here to head over to settings. Now we're going to system and performance. And in here, you will see the startup boost feature. This is what we're going to disable. All right, uh, and that's that. Now you need to restart your PC and come back again. So once you've done restarting your PC, now you can uninstall Microsoft Edge as you would uninstall uh, it if you were in the EU. EU. So just right click the start menu icon, head over to installed apps, search for Microsoft Edge. So from this point onwards, you can just click on these three dots right here and go ahead and uninstall Edge as usual. Make sure to re uh, start your computers at the points that I've mentioned in the video. Otherwise, these changes will not take effect. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if you have any thoughts on these videos or if you'd like to know more. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.